So today's May 1st, start of a new month. Seems like a good time to start a new routine of a kind. The funny thing about May 1st also is that I'm actually ending the uh, artist's way. Last week was week 12, week 12, so this is the end. And I am now being thrust into whatever comes after you do artist's way. Hopefully that's going to mean a lot more writing. I'm going to keep doing the morning pages because writing every day is really important to me anyway. I do it whether it's part of morning pages or not. I used to do it online, 750words.com. I've always done it in my notebook. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to stick with the three pages just because it's a nice number. It's a nice number because one page is easy. Two pages is also kind of easy, but there's definitely a little bit more friction to do two pages because you definitely need to sit down and actually write it. Three pages is hard. And that seems odd that, that two pages is good, but three pages is hard because you have to really set, a, set aside the time. You have to really make yourself do it. You can't just do three pages off the cuff. You have to do three pages, long handwriting, and actually just sit down and make the time and do it. Turn off the television. For me, I, I need to write with complete silence. I don't even like to have music. <clears throat> Yesterday, I went to Starbucks. I've been wanting to finish a story for a deadline that's tomorrow, for a, a short story for an anthology, and the deadline is tomorrow. And I've been working on it for like two weeks since I did the last story, and it's just not coming. Like, it's not coming as easily as I want it to, which is honestly always the way that writing works for me. It's always pretty hard. So yesterday I went to Starbucks to make myself get out of the house on a Sunday, stop watching television. I've been watching Riverdale, which is the new like Gossip Girl Twin Peaks style Archie comics, and I love it. It's so good. But I loved Archie comics when I was a kid. I, bas I read more Archie comics than I read books when I was uh, a kid. <clears throat> so I stopped. I walked up the hill. It's hard to get to my Starbucks because I live down the hill. Not all the way down the hill, but halfway down the hill. So it's hard to get uptown. It takes effort, you know? I can walk it. It's not like I'm panting by the end of it. But, you know, there's friction to, to actually go and walk up that hill. Go to Starbucks. I sat down. I had my computer. I didn't connect to the internet. And I just tried to write and I couldn't. And it made me feel terrible that I couldn't write. And so it made me think about what has the artist way actually helped me figure out? What am I learning from doing these exercises for the last 12 weeks? What did I get out of it? Because I already wrote daily, right? I already knew that habit. I already knew that that was important to me and that it helped me. So it's not like, you know, the book had to teach me that. But the thing that it really taught me is that sometimes you have to indulge yourself in your art, especially when art isn't your job. I'm a teacher, so art is not my job. I don't get paid to do this stuff. I mean, I get paid a very tiny amount. I actually just deposited a royalty check. I get paid in US dollars. The check was $4.99 or $5.99, I think. And then with the exchange rate, it was almost $8, which that sounds really cool. Hey, I got paid $8 for writing something, but that's for three months. Like that's not enough to live on. So <clears throat> you have to indulge yourself with your art because art isn't the thing that sustains me in terms of life. Art doesn't pay my rent, it doesn't pay for food, it doesn't pay for my cell phone plan. It's not even enough to pay for my bus tickets for a month. It's such a small amount of money that it may not even count. But if it's important to you, you have to do it anyway. You just have to keep trying. 
keep doing it because it means something to you. You have to keep doing it even in the face of it not turning into anything, ever. That was a really hard lesson for me to learn throughout my 20s. Because I wanted to be a writer so, so early. I was, I, I was a kid when I decided I'm going to be a writer for a living. <clears throat> All through high school I thought I was going to go to university and do my English degree. I was going to study books. I was going to write about books. I was going to be a teacher, an English teacher, and then during the summers I would write books and I would be published and I would get, you know, people would read my stuff. And that didn't happen. It didn't happen for 35 years. Well, technically that's not true. It didn't happen for 30 years, let's say that. <clears throat> but you have to keep doing it if it means something to you. You can't give it up. Honestly, I've tried. I have tried to give up art. And it doesn't work. Art always comes back. So sometimes you just have to let it come back. And take what you can. I am probably not going to make that deadline tomorrow. I am probably not going to write a story for that anthology whose deadline is tomorrow. But there is another anthology whose deadline is the 15th of May. So maybe I'll make that one. And if I don't, there's one on the 30th of May. So maybe I'll make that one. But I'm going to keep trying, and that's what's important. Even though I'm not going to do artist way anymore, I'm going to keep trying to be an artist. And I'm going to remember that art is important to me, and I'm not going to give it up again. So I'm going to try to make a commitment to do these videos most days. That's my goal. Not daily, because I know that I know how daily, I know how hard daily is. So I'm not going to make that commitment to myself and then fail and then feel terrible about it. That's another big lesson. Daily is hard. Most days. So if I can do four days out of a week, that's good. That's a success. So I'm starting off May 1st. This is my first video. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.